a big honor is what it wow. is. Yeah, it's a, it's a dream come true for me. I really, really enjoy it. We have been to see her six times in about 15 months. Tonight was the best night. Is that right? Tonight was incredible. She just gets better and better, doesn't she? She gets better and better. The first time I saw her, I was nine months pregnant with my 40-year-old child. So I just told wow. my age, I've been coming to see her for 40 years. As I host a television show every morning, I tell people, go see her. She is better than ever. Tonight, a lot of our viewers were here. And I think they were so excited. Many of them have never had the opportunity to see her. Right. So her being in Georgia was just incredible. Where was the incredible. first show, show that you saw her? In Atlanta. Oh, in Atlanta. Atlanta. And I was nine months pregnant. And honey, a nine month pregnant woman does not want to hear you ain't woman enough. <laughs> I believe it. That was in 1970. Oh, man, it was incredible. Now, let me ask you something. Sure. When you stand on stage and sing with her, the memories of she and Conway, y'all do a great job. It's not Conway, but it's an honor to be able to do that. It is amazing. Yeah. Now, how did you show up at her doorstep and get to stay there? Well, I actually didn't show up at her doorstep. I uh, I have my own band in Nashville, uh -huh. and I'd hired a guitar player to uh, to play for me that had just got this gig, and uh, he was only with it for a year. But uh, when he first started, he did some he had some fill-in gigs that uh, he asked me to do because he had some prior engagements. Uh -huh. And uh, so I did five or six shows in 2002, and then the next year he wasn't with her any longer, so they asked me if I'd do it full time. So there you are. I fell on my lap. Sure well, I did. you really do. When you stand on stage, you bring your own presence. Have you ever thought about doing your own thing and yeah, leaving? Yeah, I moved to Nashville with, with that intent, but uh, really my dream has always been to just make my living in country music, and right. whether it be a singer, songwriter, or a musician, that's, that's what my goal is. And, Let's talk about writing. Who's your favorite writer? Uh, probably Paul Overstreet. Okay. It's a big influence. And then Harlan Howard was a huge influence of mine. Oh, Roger awesome. Miller uh, is a huge, uh, you know, a lot of them. Chris Christopherson, the list is really long. And Loretta is, a, is one of my favorite Well, the singers are nothing without the words. That's true. The words, and, and the words, now my favorite Loretta Lynn song is I'm the other woman. I love that she too. She doesn't do that song <laughs> very often. Very I don't think she liked the other women. <laughs> My favorite is Fist City. Oh yeah, I love that. <laughs> you one. can't don't cat around with a kitty. It's just, <laughs> it's awesome. just classic writing, in my opinion. It is okay. The writing, the memories. Um, Fifty years to see the people here tonight. A lot of the folks here struggled to pay for a ticket, but it was so important for them to be here. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw folks who really did. Um, this was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Yeah. They will leave here thinking about this forever. Every time, almost every time after the show, someone will come up and say, "It was my my mother's 83rd mm -hmm. birthday present, mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like this, and it was her dream to see Loretta That's before." Right. And it's just amazing how a person, how a Loretta can touch lives oh, that yeah. she's never even met. Yeah. It's really amazing. Well, a lady sitting behind us is 76, and it was her first time to ever see her. She came because she's one of our friends. She just got a really bad medical diagnosis, and she's waiting on some bad, bad results, but it was so important. She told the doctors, she said, you can do anything you want to me, but not November the 20th. I'm going to be with Loretta Lynn. It so, meant that much to yeah, her, and there crazy. were so many fans here like that tonight that it was very important to share her 50 years in country music. It's crazy. It's, uh, it's, it's a big honor for me to be able to share that 50 years as well. Now, where are y'all going tonight? We're going to... Uh, Melbourne, Florida for tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah, I think 620 miles away. Wow. And then back wow. to Nashville after that. Now, who drives? Do you take uh, turns driving? No, 